Almighty, the maker and the possessor of heaven and earth. I am David Aigbona, and this is David Aigbona Ministries. Our prayer, healing, and deliverance service. Today, I'm going to be praying for the sick and those who are oppressed. I want you to have faith in God. Don't worry. Do not uh, wonder how it is going to happen. Just know that you are going to receive your healing and your deliverance. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5, Isaiah 53 verse 5, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Or by his wounds. It's better translated. By his wounds we are healed. And so... should know that the Bible says without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sin so the cleansing of sin requires the shedding of blood and Jesus shed his own blood so that the punishment of our sin will be upon him The, the, the sacrifice required for us to be reconciled back to God was made by him. He hung on the cross. He took our place. And God placed upon him our sins. The sins of the entire world. He placed it upon him and Jesus took the price. I paid the price. He took the punishment and his wounds, the wounds he was inflicted with, released healing power upon all who would believe. You see, the, the healing power of God is like the sun shining. If you stand outside, you will enjoy the warmth. If you are in a temperate uh, climate, you enjoy the warmth and the brightness of the sun. But if you decide to go inside a building and close all your curtains, you are, you are not going to benefit from the sun. So, the healing power of God is available to touch you. Your faith will connect you to that healing power. And that is why I want you to expect to be healed. Don't wish to be healed. Because wishful Thoughts are maybe thoughts. Maybe I'll be healed. Oh, if only, if possible. Expect it the way you expect when you press a button. It activates what it's to activate. Like your TV remote control. So expect that you will be healed. Expect to be delivered. Expect miracles. Pardon the chicken in the background. It's uh, not far from me. I want you to know in your heart that you qualify to be healed. Not because you are a Sunday school teacher or a church boy or girl. 
But because Jesus Christ has paid the price for your healing. And so even if you have not been living a very good life, you've not been living a decent life, the healing power of God is here to touch you. And then, by His grace, you will go and sin no more. So the power has come. The healing power of God has come upon those that are um, decent believers and upon those that are not. It has come upon everyone. And so I want you to receive your healing and deliverance. Right now, begin to give God thanks. Talk to him and thank him for today. Thank him for his kindness. Thank him for his love. I want you to thank the Lord for what he has been doing in your life. Thank Him. Thank Him for this opportunity to be in this service, to receive the healing that you need. Give Him thanks. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your love. We thank you for this time of service. We thank you for this, for your healing power. Lord, we give you thanks for your protection. We thank you for your love. We are grateful, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And your love for us will never fail. We give you thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, I want you to let go of every offense in your heart. If there is anyone you are bitter towards, let go. Let go. Forgive everyone who has offended you. Forgive everyone who has offended you. Let go of every hurt. Let go of every hurt. Let go. Let go. Now confess your sins unto the Lord and ask Him for mercy. Ask the Lord for mercy. Asking for mercy. There are sins that cause sickness. So as you confess your sins, things are taking place. Ask the Lord to give you grace to walk in holiness. Ask him for grace. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your merciful. We forgive those who have offended, against, offended us, who have sinned against us. Lord, forgive our sins. Forgive, O oh Lord God, 
and cleanse us of all filthiness and uncleanness of spirit, of soul and body. We pray, Lord, that in your mercy you will give us grace to walk in holiness. We thank you in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I destroy every power that, will, that is rising against this service. I frustrate every action of the enemy against this service. In the name of Jesus. Now I'm going to be praying for you. You qualify for healing because Jesus has paid the price for your healing. <clears throat> And so in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you sickness. I rebuke you infirmity. In this man, in this woman, in this boy, in this girl. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be healed. Receive your healing. By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. Receive it now in Jesus' name. I command you, spirit of infirmity, be gone from him. Be gone from her. I expel you in Jesus' name. I break the curses that have brought about this infirmity and affliction in your life. In the name of Jesus, I break those curses. I command this pain to go. I command this skin reaction to cease now. Be cleansed in Jesus' name. Skin be cleansed. Flesh be healed. Be cleansed in Jesus' name. I rebuke you deafness. In the name of Jesus, ears be healed open tongue be loosed you deaf and dumb spirit loose your hold on this one I expel you now from him I expel you from her in the name of Jesus let the deaf hear the dumb speak in the name of Jesus blind eyes receive sight I command your your eyes that were blind to receive sight now in Jesus' name. Eyes be open. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke respiratory illness. I rebuke respiratory damage in the name of Jesus. Every damage to your respiratory system is repaired now in Jesus' name. You are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Shockness of breath. In the name of Jesus, cease. In the name of Jesus, cease. I command shortness of breath to cease now and be gone. Breathe normally. Breathe freely. In the name of Jesus. Breathe. Breathe. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lame walk. Rise up and walk.
receive your miracle, receive your miracle healing. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Back pain, go. In the name of Jesus, I command you pain in the back. Be gone. Spinal injury, be healed. Every injury in your spinal cord, in your vertebral column, I command those injuries to be healed in Jesus' name. You are healed. Receive strength in your left arm. Receive your healing now. Every part of your body in the name of Jesus. I rebuke tonsillitis. In the name of Jesus, tonsillitis be gone. Be gone in Jesus' name. I rebuke you, cancer. You evil growth, I command you to be reversed in the name of Jesus. You are healed from cancer. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Cervical cancer is no more in your body. Pancreatic cancer is no more in your body. You are healed. Father, I pray for that brain damage. Your power will come upon this person and the brain will walk normally. You are the God of all flesh. There is nothing difficult for you to do. Lord, I pray in your mercy. Do it now. I pray for those who are missing organs. I pray, Lord, that you will give them new organs. Give them, O oh Lord, new organs. Give them. I pray in Jesus' name. Cleanse their blood. Revive their blood. I pray in the name of Jesus. I reverse that still uh, birth situation. Baby, come to life in the name of Jesus. Receive the life of God. Come to life. Receive life. Receive life. Now, in Jesus' name, child, rise from the dead. Jesus Christ raises you from the dead. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Your right eye has been healed. healing power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Lord I thank you for healing these ones thank you for your mercy thank you Lord in the mighty name of Jesus I thank you for what you are doing I thank you Lord I thank you thank you Father for your miracle intervention in the lives of these ones. Lord, I pray that in every situation that is causing them grief and pain, you will deliver them from those situations. Your power will come into effect in those situations. I pray, Lord, that you will stretch forth your hand to deliver these people. I pray, oh God, for those who are in in uh, involved in court cases who are having some serious problems in their lives lord i pray that you you will do what no one can do i pray you will intervene in these situations i pray lord god that the things will turn around for their good i pray heavenly father in the name of jesus 
that Lord, your power will, will flow right now. Your power will move mightily upon these ones, effecting changes in their lives, giving them breakthroughs, releasing them from financial difficulties and other problems. I pray in the name of Jesus that Lord, you will bless their bread and water. You will bless their finances in the mighty name of Jesus. I command allergies to cease in the name of Jesus. I command those addictions to be broken now in the name of Jesus. I break the power of those addictions in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you for participating in this service. You have been healed. Feel free to write to me. Let me read your testimonies. You can reach this ministry by email. David Ibona Ministries at gmail.com. Ibona is spelled A I G B O N A. That is David Ibona Ministries at gmail.com. You can send a message by Telegram or WhatsApp to this number plus two three four seven zero three 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 four three six eight. I don't have a Telegram channel as of now, so that is the number you send the message to. I look forward to hearing from you and communicating with you. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, David Eichbonner, that's the channel name, David Eichbonner, please do subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up so that it appears more on your feed. You give it a thumbs up, you also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. The channel can be found on various social media platforms, TikTok, SoundCloud, we have our podcasts there. We are also on Rumble odc.com, BitChute, iConnectFX, Gab.com, Brighton, and Locals.com. We are expanding. God bless you. And before I go, I want as many of you as have not given your life to Jesus Christ, you have not asked Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. He is your Lord. He is your owner. He is your master. You submit to him. Being your owner and master, everything about you is his concern. And so if the enemy afflicts you, run to him. He will fight for you. If you are lacking anything, ask of him. He will provide. That is how he is your Lord. He is the one to instruct whose instructions you follow. He is your savior saving you from sin. So I want you to just say, Lord Jesus, I confess and accept you as my Lord and Savior. Father, forgive my sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. And fill me with your Holy Spirit. Baptize me with your Holy Spirit and keep me holy and righteous till the day I meet you. Thank you in Jesus' name. If you prayed that prayer or prayed like that, you are born again. I encourage you to be baptized, being dipped in water and brought out of the water. Any Christian who has been baptized is qualified to baptize. May Yahweh bless you and keep you. May Yahweh cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May Yahweh lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. God bless you.